the Lions crushed the Cowboys on Sunday. Uh, the truth is every team in the NFC North right now is crushing it. Jared Goff talked about the division. Every team 4-2 or better. Take a listen to what Goff had to say. Yeah, it's a, the division's good. The division's really good. It's tough. It's it's obviously really really good division. It's the, probably the best division in football right now. And um, yeah, and I think it says that, that there haven't been many division games played actually. So that's a little mis, misnomer there. But yeah, it's uh, it's a good division. It's a tough division. All right, Danny. Great I have minds. a feeling. I have a. I want your honest answer. Okay. Because I know you're an NFC North guy, sure and am. you live in Chicago. And, I live in New York now. All right. Well, yes, you do. Um, who is the best team in the NFC North? Uh, well, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna pause on the answer to that question. Okay. Because I mean, Jared Goff, he's a brilliant guy, bright mind, uh-huh. great mind. Because he's he's a fan. He's a fan of breakfast ball. Uh-huh. He's got. He's got to be. I, I can prove it to you. Who said this? It is a fact that the NFC North is the best division in football, and it's not even really close. Thank you, Jared. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah, no, not exactly going way out on a limb there. But, Hang on, let, me just, I, let me just help you yeah, out. Thank yeah, you, thank, let you, just, thank you. Let me just help you out. Be gentle. Is that I don't good? Be strongest yeah. Yeah, 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 that's good. I don't have the broadest of shoulders. <laughs> there you uh, go. But now here, here's the other thing. So it, every team in the division has a winning record. Yep. Uh, we showed it yesterday that they are first, second, third, and fourth in point differential in the entire league, yeah. all, all in that division. But we can show you. Okay, so that's what they are. They are outscoring their opponents by 211 points. What is the second best division in football this year based on point differential? You want the number or you want the division? Either one is fine. I'm going to take a guess plus 100. Okay. Uh, Okay, I'm going to go AFC or NFC South. Okay, let's uh, let's Let's get the reveal here. AFC AFC North North. at plus 25. Oh, so. This division is Browns. so clear. Yeah, the Browns. Bengals. Exactly. Well, that, but that, Bengals defense sucks. Yeah. That, but that's part of it, is that every other division has a team or teams yeah. where you're like, oh, well, they stink, or oh, their right. season's over, or oh, they're going to be sellers at the deadline. So I actually am not going to come here and say that the Bears are the best team in the North right now. But I absolutely would say that if the Bears were in a different division, that they could be Maybe. a favorite for some of those divisions. So I will answer and say that it's the, it, it, excuse me, that it is the Lions. Because the body of work of Detroit from last year through the NFC Championship game, the start of this year, the ceiling of their offense, mm-hmm. I still, if I had to, you know, 10 grand on the table, I get to pick it up if I'm right. I'll say the Lions are the best team in this division at the end of the year, but Minnesota has the best resume. You can't argue that. Uh, look, they're undefeated. Right, right. And, and, and they've beaten great teams. So it's easy to say, I'll just go based on record, and record tells me Minnesota. Sure. Uh, I don't think there's an answer to the question. I really don't. Interesting. I, I know we can argue against why teams shouldn't be. Number one, I could say Chicago, who have they played? Yeah. I could say yep. Minnesota, a little less of that, but who have they played? That kind of stuff, right? Well, Minnesota would just be like, do you buy that it's – Sam Donald, is he that good? Yeah, that it's real. Right, because yeah. I can make one very specific argument for – all four teams, I think, and one really specific argument against all four teams, I think. I could at least. But you, Jared Goff, and everybody else that watches football is all saying the same thing. You're right. Like, you can't argue what we thought the AFC North was going to be. Yep. The NFC is. It is yeah. the best division. And I'm not sure in the history of football if any division has ever gotten everybody into the playoffs. Probably unlikely. Yeah, I don't but think if so. But if there no. was a year, since we do have seven teams that get in, it would be this year. Well, I didn't, I didn't put it together because I didn't think people really cared about the 2013 AFC West. But through six weeks, it's actually the best point differential ever. There's one caveat to that. Yeah. Because right now, NFC South fans are going, the fact that Carolina plays in our division yes. should not be held right. against us. Yes, that's They're true. They're minus 100. I, uh, yeah. ab- ab- absolutely. <laughs> I mean, but even then, like, the Saints have been inconsistent. You know, yes. there's right. the, the teams in the NFC North, like, let's say the Bears are the worst team, just for the sake of the conversation. Sure, sure. They, 
They got a top 10 defense. They're 4-2. and two. They're 4-2. Four, they're, four they're on yeah. a three-game winning streak. They got a quarterback who looks like he's going to be a superstar sooner than later. They got studs on offense. Like, even if the Bears are the fourth so best team in the division, down. it is a yeah. very, very strong fourth team. I think it's interesting. I think the battle right now for who's the best team in that division, to be fair, right now in the moment, is between Detroit and Minnesota. And then I think Chicago and Green Bay are battling for who's next. Yeah. Now, now, a month from now, obviously right. that could all change. Well, well we, we, I mean, we've seen, we've seen in Green Bay right now. Love coming off that injury. Love struggling a little bit. Well, he looked like he was back to Dobbs form last back. week. They have run the ball. They have changed things when they've had to. When he was out, I would still look at Detroit. To me, is the best team in this division. But again, we'll find out when they play Minnesota. But that's going to be a great matchup. And I would say it's because, hey, what we talked about yesterday, they can be physical. They can. Cr- How do you want us to beat you? You want us to thunder punch you in the face and drive it down your throat? Sorry? We can do that, thunder punch you in the face and, and drive it down your throat. I'd say no to that. I you would say that. no. Yeah. You wouldn't I'll like that. Or do you want us to throw it? Hey, you want us to throw it over the top of your head, run some trick plays and do all that kind As of stuff? As opposed to what was the first one? Thunder punch you in the face and drive it down yeah, your throat. Yeah, I'll take the second one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they can yeah. beat you either way. And when I look at Minnesota, when you're a really well-constructed team and you're a well-coached team, and I think we can all uh, all agree that that Detroit is both well-constructed yes. and well-coached, okay? When you have those things, you beg a team to blitz you. You beg them to bring pressure. Because when you pick up pressure, you know what happens? Touchdowns the opposite way. Big plays the opposite way. So I'm really looking forward to this matchup because we're going to see – because Minnesota ain't changing what they do defensively. They are coming with pressure on a consistent basis. Can you pick that up, and can you get big-time touchdowns over the top in that? Yeah, you're going to – you said, Craig, like, it'll be a month maybe we'll feel differently. Could be this week. Yeah. Because, you, I mean, you get Minnesota at home coming off a bye against Detroit. Right. Awesome game. Probably the best game of the weekend. Favored by two and a half. Yeah. And then maybe the second best game of the weekend is Green Bay-Houston. So you're going to get to see Green Bay against C.J. Stroud, against the 5-1 and one team. Packers fans like, why aren't you giving us any credit? They're number one in takeaways. They're fourth in touchdowns in the games that jo- uh, Jordan Love has been playing in. It's a loaded division, and every time they face off against each other, they're going to be huge games. Yeah, Packers are favored in that game by three. They're at Lambeau Field. Yep. And although the Texans got right, it seemingly got right against yeah. New England, they haven't really had great games. They had a great game last week, but they're trying to find their mojo too. And obviously doing it without arguably the best wide receiver. Yeah, certainly. Certainly with Nico Collins being out.